All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikakwadash. I want to give double honors to my pastor, and others, a great millstone who do rule and teach well. And peace and salutations to all you. I came out there pushing this truth across the four winds so we can seal the elect and make it to the kingdom. All right, it's the brother Yerah, Lord willing, coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the body and edify the sheep in all spirit, faith, truth, sincerity, and doctrine. All right, Yahweh is the correct name of our Heavenly Father, who the word ignorantly calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the correct name of our Lord and Savior, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, those are the names to call upon in these perilous times that we're coming into to be delivered and to be saved. All right, and that only applies to the elect remnant of the nation of Israel. Okay, so. As you can see, I did this video here. It's called um, You Want Christ, We Want Yahweh Shai. All right. And as you can see, I got a couple of uh, comments. All right. You know, scoffers and uh, people that think that they know the Bible, but they have no clue. All right. Because the uh, the uh, secrets are, are only given to the Lord's servants as prophets. OK. And prophets can only be uh, the men. OK. The men of the nation of Israel. All right. OK, you can read about that in um, what is that the book of uh, Romans, chapter chapter nine. OK, where it speaks about, uh, um, you know, Paul speaks about, you know, his brethren, his kinfolk, the Israelites. OK, whom whom, whom pertain of the adoption. Right. And, and, and the um, matter of fact, let's get it. Let's get it just really quickly all right, for edification's sake. All right. So like you one moment. All right. The book of Romans, uh, chapter nine. All right. Uh, let's get straight to the point. All right. Verse three, Romans, chapter nine, verse three, for I could wish that myself were accursed for Yahweh Shai, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. See, it's all about a uh, bloodline okay <clears throat> right it's all about a bloodline okay that's 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 uh, that's easily you know you can easily understand that by reading this scripture okay verse four who are israelites see he was speaking about his kinsmen his brethren according to the flesh who are israelites okay paul himself was an israelite okay all right you other heathens you guys you know read the scriptures all right and you think that you uh, 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 um, can relate in, in whatever the case may be. That's not the case, man. OK, you have no clue about the scriptures. OK, this is our book. And when I say our, I mean the Israelites. OK, who are Israelites to whom pertain of the adoption. Right. And the glory. All right. Which is the kingdom. All right. And the covenants. All right. The old covenant. All right. And the new covenant. Only pertain to the Israelites. Okay. Which includes salvation. Yeah? Okay. There's not going to be any heathens or heathen nations in, in the, you know, be, being delivered from judgment, man. Okay. It says, and the giving of the law. Okay. The law was only given, all right, via Moses, all right, to the Israelites, not to the other nations. All right. <clears throat> Look, here, here's the point and the service of God. So don't. So. So who are the who gives the service to God? OK, the servants of the Heavenly Father are the prophets, man. OK, who can only be Israelites. All right. Men as well. OK. It says. And the promises. OK, so they only pertain to the Israelites. OK, so I just wanted to make that point. Let's go back here. OK. Back to this person, uh, um, which looks to be a Shedemite. And I say looks to be a Shedemite because uh, we understand that our people, you know, via, you know, due to the curses, were scattered into all nations. OK. All right. For captivity or slavery. OK. And our people have dwelled in these other nations or, the, or these, uh, these other these heathen lands. OK. And have mi mixed and mingled amongst these heathen nations. OK. So after a while, after so many generations, all right, our people start to look like these other nations. OK, so it's all about, you know, your father and what your father's bloodline goes back to. OK. All right. Or his seed line. OK. 
So someone can look like a heathen and their seed line can go back to an Israelite, all right, which makes them an Israelite. Okay, so that's why I said it's this so-called um Shedamite, okay, which I believe she is a Shedamite, all right, but I just wanted to make that point, all right, for you people that think that it's all about a skin color. It's not about skin color, okay? You're an you you you're an Israelite, all right. If you're if your spirit bear witness with with the spirit, okay, which is the scriptures, all right, that you are an Israelite. But anyway, so the name of her page is spoiler alert. I speak truth only. Now, number one, we got to go to her page, right? Because most of the people, they, 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 they jump in the comment section and they have no works, right? They want to tell you, you know, what you're doing, what you're teaching wrong. And they want to try to, you know, tell you, you know, the right way to teach and, but they have no works, right? But you go to this woman's page. All right. So Lockie, let me go back to it. All right. You go to this woman's page. All right. Let's go to her page. All right. For truth shall set you free. Right. It's <clears throat> the name of her page. Right. And notice she's promoting Jesus. Right. Which is not the name of the Lord, man. All right. And I made that mighty clear in the video, which 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 lets me know that she didn't watch the video, you know, not for edification's sake. All right. And this is why we don't deal with women. OK, when it comes to, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, um, debating the scriptures or debating the truth of the Bible. OK, because you women, you don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. OK, most of these men don't even know what the hell they're talking about, but especially you women. And we're going to get scriptures to prove that. OK, but as you can see, you know, she has videos, right? Uh, 15 to be exact. Right. You see. But she doesn't know what she's talking about, man. OK. All right. And as you can see, she, she she's holding the Bible and she's making videos. She's teaching. Right. Which, you know, one of the things that one of the comments that she left me was, you know, because uh, uh, I told her, I said, you, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't you don't know the Bible. Right. Based off of her comments, I can tell she don't know. She, she doesn't know, know the Bible. Right. And her response was, well, I've read my Bible front to back, you know, and uh, um, I I know about the the, uh, the whole Bible, right? Roughly paraphrasing, okay? She's read her Bible, right? And you can see her Bible in her hand, right? But this is going off because if you read your whole Bible, then you should have read this scripture, right? It's the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2, and we'll start at verse 11, and it reads, Let the woman which I assume you are, right? A woman. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. Subjection to who? Her head, her husband, okay? All right? And if you don't have a husband, a man, period, okay? Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, okay? So you are to be silent, okay? There's another scripture where it talks about be, uh, the woman being silent in the churches. I think I think we're about to come past it. All right. Verse 12, it says, but I suffer not a woman to teach. Let me read that again for you. OK, young lady. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man. OK, but to be in silence. See, be quiet. Why are you making videos uh, teaching? Why are you making videos teaching, man? Okay. We go through this time and time again with you women that want to come on the comment boards and think that you want to uh, uh, think that you're that, that uh, you'll be able to uh, usurp authority over the man by by teaching him something. When you are to be in silence, man, you know, you say you follow God and, 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 and you, you know, you worship God, right? But you don't want to follow his words, man. OK. And we're reading his words. OK. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. OK. All right. For Adam was for was first was like was a first form, then Eve. OK. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. See. All right. So. 
notwithstanding she shall be saved in childbearing and 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 if if they continue in faith and charity and holiness and sobriety okay that's how you're going to be delivered okay being being a subjection to your husband silent not teaching right and and through childbearing okay all right faith charity holiness and sobriety all right so let's get that straight okay now let's get back to this comment okay because these two comments here that i have up here i, I want to uh respond to very quickly okay the first comment at the top it, it and it reads okay it says i can assure you that they are one and the same this is her first comment okay by the way i can assure you that they are one and the same kind sir Jesus and Yahweh Shai, which she didn't even spell it correctly, even though I I spelt it in my, you know, the title of my lesson, I spelt it correctly and she still couldn't spell it correctly, which lets me know that you are an Edomite. OK, because, you know, uh, uh, the scriptures talk about the heathen are right, not being uh, uh, um, the heathen, not being able to speak the Lord's name because it is, you know, it is a. Uh, uh, um, it's a lucky. I can't remember exactly what it says, but um they can't speak the Lord's name. OK. All right. And and the fact that you misspelled it lets me know that you're most likely a heathen. Right. But she goes on to say Jesus and Yahweh Shai are the same person. Hmm. Really? And he doesn't care which which uh, which one you call him. So 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 what you're saying is the Lord doesn't care if you call him Jesus or Yahweh Shai that's not that's not true okay the scriptures tell you clearly all right in the apocrypha okay which is a part of the bible by the way all right in the beginning pages of the apocrypha all right it literally says that speaking in the hebrew tongue all right the ancient paleo hebrew tongue all right has more power to it okay all right plus in the scriptures all right the lord came to who the lord came to saul which was, you know, his, his, you know, this is talking about Paul, but before he was called Paul, all right, Apostle Paul, he, he was called uh, Saul, okay? Let me see, spoke in the Hebrew, the Hebrew tongue. All right. Let's see, um, Let's go right here. It's a book of Acts, chapter 22 and verse two. And, there, and it reads, and when and when they heard that he spake in the Hebrew, matter of fact, let, let's let's start up. All right. Let's see. Um, let me see. Let's do this. Yeah. Here's the correct one. So, Lockie, I'm doing this all through the spirit. All right, I don't, I don't have anything prepared, okay? But us knowing the us us knowing the scriptures, you know, we can just run right through it, right? Uh, this book of Acts, chapter twenty six and verse fourteen, and it reads: "And when we were were all fallen to the earth, right, or bowing down, right, I heard a, I heard a voice speaking unto me." And saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, while why thou persecutest thou me? This is how Shai speaking to Saul, or, or or you know later on he was called Apostle Paul, right? It says, "Why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks." See, this is how Shai speaking to uh, um, Apostle Paul, man. All right, but he's but it clearly says he spoke to him in the Hebrew tongue. All right. The same language that uh, um, um, our people spoke in the ancient uh, times, man. Okay. That was a loud thunder. All right. You see? So, Salakia got thrown off by that. Uh but yeah, the Lord spoke in the uh, the uh, Hebrew tongue, man. Okay, you see, so 
You have to uh, 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 keep that in mind. OK. All right. The Hebrew tongue has more power in it. OK. And that's what our people spoke. And as you can see here, the Lord spoke in the Hebrew tongue, man. OK. You see, so wouldn't his name <laughs> be be in Hebrew? All right. Jesus is a Greek language, man. That's a Greek name. OK. There was no letter J in the uh, the Paleo Hebrew, man. OK, the letter J didn't come about. If you do your research, ma'am, the letter J didn't come around until the 1500s. Well, the Lord had already walked the earth well, 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 you know, long before that. Right. So what was his name called? Ayushua or something? No. His name was Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai, man. All right. He that delivers, he that saves his people, by the way. You see? Now, <clears throat> you mentioned uh, that that Jesus and Yahweh Shai are the same person and he doesn't care which name you call him. Oh, really? All right. Well, let's well, let's go here. All right. Because the scriptures talk about him having uh, one name, right? It's the book of Acts, chapter four and verse 12. And it reads, neither is there salvation in any other any other what? Any other name. OK. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So which name is it? Is it Jesus or is it Yahweh Shai? So in that day, are you going to gamble and just, you know, uh, a gamble which name you're going to call upon? And it's clear inside of your videos, uh, you don't call on Yahweh Shai. So lucky I got to go back to it again. All right. It's clear inside of your videos that you don't you don't call on Yahweh Shai, man. You call on Jesus. All right. Even inside of your uh, um, your bio, it says Jesus is God. Right. Look at that. Jesus versus Je Jehovah. You see. Look, Jesus is God. See, where's Yahweh Shai? And I watched a couple of your videos and not, not one time did you use the word or, or use the name Yahweh Shai. So my guess is in that day, you know, you're going to believe that, you know, the, the Lord is, you know, you're, you're a Gentile, which we're going to go into that. All right. And that uh, um, you repented and you came back to the Lord and Jesus is going to save you. Like, no, it's not going to happen, man. All right. Let's continue reading. It says, and he doesn't care which name or which one you call him. There is power, the same amount of power. Let me let me be clear in both names. That's bullshit, man. There's there's no power in the name Jesus, man. Okay? The name Jesus has been around for years now, man. All right? Centuries, man. All right? How much power has been in the name Jesus, man? How many how many people did Jesus save when they called on Jesus, okay? Fun fact, the uh, the uh, the uh, Ku Klux Klan. They were Christians. They believed in, they believed on and called on Jesus. OK. When Christopher Columbus and all of those uh, 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 Edomite settlers. All right. That came here. All right. To rape, rob and pillage the uh, the native and Seminole Indians. All right. Who did they who did they bring? What religion, what God did they bring with them to share with the uh, 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 or to force all right, to force upon the uh, Israelites that were already here? They brought Jesus. Well, wouldn't the Israelites already know who Jesus is if they, you know, if if that's the correct name, if it has the same power? Another fun fact. The uh, the uh, uh, um, the transatlantic slave trade. OK. The uh, ships, all right, which were funded by the the uh, the uh, Jewish people, right? That's over there in the land of Israel right now, all right. The fake Jews, all right. Those boats, all right, that 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 are carried, that captured and carried those slaves from the west coast of Africa over here to to a, to the Americas, all right, to put them in slavery. Those ships were called Jesus. 
Go ahead and look it up. You see? So so you don't know your history, man. You and a lot of other people, man. A lot of other people, man. Okay? Because the Lord's only dealing with a small remnant. All right? There, there are men that are in this truth. All right? That claim to be Israel. You know, that know that they're Israelites. All right? And claim that they have the truth. That they don't even know this information, man. Okay? And they're not a part of the elect. So wh wh what do you think you are? But let's continue reading. It says he will not. What well, she said, he will not condemn anyone. Anyone for calling him Jesus and calling people uh, ignorant. Is not something that he approve for any reason. All right. <laughs> you know. And this is the reason why the Lord didn't, you know, the main reason why the Lord didn't set uh, uh, the woman up to be a teacher, man. OK, because you women are hev heavily emotional, man. OK, and have no integrity and no discernment. OK. Uh, let's see uh, her of uh, discernment. All right. Let's put it deprived. Let's see where we at. We want to make this too long, right? This is the book of Job, chapter Saint Job, chapter thirty nine, verse seven, and it reads, "All right, because God have deprived her of wisdom." Okay, you women don't have wisdom, man. Okay, the scripture says what the the uh, the uh, fear of God is the beginning of all wisdom. All right, is the beginning of wisdom. All right. You can't you can't be a teacher or, 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 or a prophet. All right. If you don't fear the Lord, man. All right. Fearing the Lord is reading the scriptures, understanding it. All right. And and and, and, and going by it. OK. Accepting it for truth. You don't accept that. You don't accept the scriptures for truth because it, uh, it, it clearly reads in Timothy's. All right. First Timothy's that the woman is, is not to teach. I'm pretty sure you read that scripture, but you still uploaded your videos. You still go out and you and, and you, you know sit in your living room or whatever, make videos and teach, and upload it to YouTube. That's going off, man. You see, and that's and, and, and this is why the Lord doesn't deal with you women, man. All right, as far as you you know you going out and and, and uh, doing the actual labor, okay. All right. It says because God have deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. So you don't even understand. You don't have understanding. You women don't have understanding enough to go out and teach the Bible, man. All right. You're delusional because you believe you do have understanding enough to go teach, but you don't. You see. Let's go. Let's go back here. OK, I already went over the names. OK. All right. There's one name. All right. Given given, un, uh, you know, given under heaven. OK. Where that man must be saved. OK. All right. On, and, and, and only the Israelites. OK. Can be saved with that name. All right. Now I want to uh, tackle this one here. I probably do a separate video. Yeah, yeah. I'll do a, I'll do a, I'll do a second video for this one here. All right. So I'm going to end it there. Lord willing, this is edifying to the body and the faith of the sheep of the spirit and poverty. How about Shemiah Shai? All right. Shalom and a Baba Ball. I'll be back for part two. Shalom.